At the outset, I would uh, first thank the Honorable President for having pleased to deliver the, her address to both the Houses of Parliament and also for having read the document of the government without fracturing it, unlike some of those appointed by her in various states. Yes. This government is, ma'am, anti-federal, anti-secular, anti-poor, pro-rich. It is anti-women. It is anti-MSC, ME, anti-CP issues, pro-corporates, anti-farmers and anti-labor, pro-center and anti-regional. See, why I am telling all these things, not it's an evasive accusation against the government or alleging them without any base. In the recent days, after this government has taken over power, there's a blatant attempt to undermine the regional parties and the local issues. There's a stepmotherly attitude we witness and we experience. Take, for example, the devolution of revenue shares. The Finance Commission, 40th Finance Commission, recommended to 42%, whereas what we are getting is not that much. It was 34%, then 31.3%, and only now 25%. It was in 21-22, 1.70 lakh crore. Next year, it came down to 1.40 lakh crore. And now it is 1.24 crore. Tamil Nadu is the largest contributor of direct taxes to this country. Whereas, for one rupee we pay to the union government, the Tamil Nadu government is getting 29 paise. Whereas the UP, if they pay one rupee, they get 2.73. 2 rupees and 73 paise. What is this disparity? Why this discrimination? You say the country is one. You say everything, all are equal. But why this sort of treatment? By way of this GST regime, the Tamil Nadu government has last estimated to around 20,000 crore rupees. It was a hasty implementation of GST. We have experienced a lot. And the other thing, Legislations are not able to be carried over in the assemblies. The elected government, which is in the assembly, do know the needs of the people and they legislate laws. But the Rajbhavan stand as a stumbling block and many of the bills that have been passed in the assembly have not been accorded sanction or assent from the governors. And because of that, many state governments are limping, especially the opposition ruling parties. The opposition ruling parties, wherever which states or wherever they are ruling, they are being treated in a manner the central agencies enter in and arm twist the government as well as functioning of the governments. And moreover, very importantly, recently there was a very bad uh, flood in Tamil Nadu, the torrential rains. Before that, there was a cyclone. Chennai and southern districts were affected too much. We demanded immediate for relief, 5,000 crore. We were given only 450 crore, not even 10%. And later, overall estimate, say the uh, defense minister came to the spot and we, he, he, he had an overall view of what happened there. And uh, the prime minister was met by the chief minister of Tamil Nadu and he gave an estimate of 37,000 crore rupees demanding for immediate relief. Nothing happened. Then a party of a delegation of all party members of parliament came and met the home minister uh, to who, which delegation the home minister assured that it would be done. Nothing has been done. So even at the time of distress, they just witness how the uh, states which are being ruled by opposition parties are suffering. This is not the way a union government has to treat uh, 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 state government under a federal system. That is why I say it is anti-federal. It's not an, just an alleging uh, an accusation against them, but it is a fact because of that. Take, for example, my neighboring state, the Andhra Pradesh. I have been hearing them for the past 10 years, cutting across all the political parties. 
after the uh, Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act in 2014, they are demanding for special status to Andhra Pradesh. Polavaram project, it is very much acquainted to us. Nothing has been uh, taken care of because it is not ruled by BJP. For 10 years have crossed by. They have asked for a special status and are still demanding it. It has not been acceded to. So this is the way states are being treated by the union government. We say it is not fair.